We are here this morning to honor a World War II veteran who returned from service and came back here to his hometown of Belmore when he took over his father's hardware store. Wyman's Hardware was a staple in the community and Roy Wyman was known and loved by all those who walked through the door. Wyman's Hardware Store originated in Belmore in 1922, two years before Roy was born. Roy was literally born into the business. He was born and raised on Frederick Avenue and was a member of the first graduating class of Mepham High School. After graduation, Roy entered the military and served for four years in the Army Corps of Engineers during World War II. After the war, Roy enrolled in the Wharton School and earned his degree in business administration. He used his business acumen as he joined his father's business and later took over the business. When Roy retired three years ago yesterday, Wyman's Hardware had been in business for a remarkable 92 years. When Roy passed away in July, he too had been in business for 92 years. In fact, Roy's 93rd birthday would have been this coming Monday. Roy packed a lot of living and a lot of giving into his 92 years. He was an active member of the Belmore Chamber of Commerce, where he once served as treasurer. He was also a president of the Belmore Memorial Library Board and oversaw the library's expansion project. An, organiz an organization that was very close to Roy's heart was the Belmore Lions Club, where he served as vice president and secretary. Roy proposed and ran a bi-weekly flea market for the organization at the Long Island Railroad parking lot. The flea market is still going strong, raising funds for this important charitable organization. Though Roy closed the doors to Wyman's Hardware a few years ago, it is clear, it's clear that he never closed his heart to Belmore. What's more, Belmore opened its heart up to Roy, asking for this street renaming. That's why it's so important that we dedicate Bedford Avenue near where his family's business stood for nearly a century as Roy Weinman Avenue. It's only fitting to honor Roy's memory on the street where he spent so much of his life, right in the middle of the village that meant so much to him. When I look up and see Roy's name on this sign that will be unveiled shortly, I will think of a wonderful man who did so much for his community, our community. I can only hope that there will be more Roy Wymans out there who will love their community and do as much for it as our dear friend Roy. I, as well as so many of us here today, will miss him and all that he meant to our lives. Roy's legacy will live forever as we all cherish the many wonderful memories that each of us shared in some way with Roy. And whenever we help each other, we will think of him. Thank you, Mr. Wyman. You have forever touched my heart. May you rest in peace. And now I would uh, once again ask come closer to the actual sign as we unveil it and rename uh, Bedford Avenue Roy Weinman Avenue.